Hi guys, this is Squirt2448 with a Farming Simulator 2017 video, and today we will be logging here on Pine Creek Hills. We will be using the Ponzi Scorpion to cut all the trees into 8 meters long, and then we will be loading them with the JCB onto the truck, and hopefully we could sell a large load of trees today. So let's hop in the Ponzi Scorpion and continue here. And I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. It's going to be an awesome day for us here. And I think actually we want to just continue over here. Not branch out too much. But I hope you guys are really enjoying this logging series. It's a lot of fun logging here in Farming Sim. Since uh, we get all these awesome maps. So. Oh. Oh boy. Whoa. <laughs> uh. Turn it back on. Looks like I uh, just did not want to cut this tree. I think, yeah, I think it's on the uh, angle. Actually, I think back up just a little. First person view is very easy to actually go through it. We'll, uh, go up. Looks like that tree does not want to cut down. Let's see if we could get this tree. Hopefully, we could get this to work. Or else we're just going to have to hop out and use our chainsaw. Perfect. So we will back up here. And like I was saying, we will be cutting these into 8 meters long. Pretty long actually. So we will get this turned over here. Hopefully these can all go in one same pile. Which would be awesome. Very helpful if they all do. And it looks like we will be able to do that. So I think we'll make a few piles here and there and then we will go at once with the loader that way we could uh, spend more time in one piece of equipment at once and if you guys do have any cool maps you would like me to switch to for the logging series let me know in the comments I'm looking to switch this logging map and that tree like I was saying just does not want to cut so we won't focus our time on that we will focus our time on the other ones since we have lots of trees to cut down Let's see, can we cut this one without uh, having to go up close? Actually, it looks like we will be able to. Oh yeah, look, uh, we'll pull this back. Hopefully it doesn't hit that tree. Fell right in between. Actually, very helpful that it did not cause any problems for us there. But we will turn this here. And I do have some very cool videos planned later this week for you guys. So stay tuned for them. And it's going to be awesome. So I got rid of one of the mods. And it automatically cuts these, which is very helpful. Uh, one of the mods was making it so that every time you would go through this machine, you had to uh, press X to cut it even more. So hopefully it, I don't install that mod again, because uh, it's a lot easier when you just let the machine cut it all up at once. So we will pick all these up here, and hopefully, guys, we could fill up this trailer all the way. That would be awesome. And I do want to sell all these today, so we will definitely also do that. A little unrealistic trying to get all of these at once. I'm not always the best at uh, doing these. Let's see. Can I re-grab these? Yeah, I think it's best to give it another try. Since getting all of them at once is going to be awesome. And I'm always about being efficient here on the uh, logging company. When you are efficient, you get a lot done, which is also very helpful. Looks like we are actually, we got to just pull out and uh, just put these down because this ain't going to work. We need to be in the center of the logs, not on the uh, end. That won't work. Now this will work. Awesome. We do have some difficulties here and there with the logging, but we do overcome it in the uh, video, which is awesome. And I didn't do any logging uh, videos in a while so this is awesome but I will be doing a logging live stream on Friday and you guys can definitely check that out because I really do enjoy logging live with all we'll uh, push that one down a little challenging to use this really large loader awesome so we did that we will get these last three and then we will continue here we won't be doing any wood chipping today we'll be saving that for the live stream since we do have to clean up a little problem that we did have at the live stream where the conveyor belt just decided to move on us. So we will definitely have to do that. But uh, if you do have any cool video ideas, let me know in the comments. And I do have an Insta Instagram so you guys can follow me over there. But time is flying, guys. And I think for the last few minutes, we will go and sell all these wood, which will be awesome. So we'll do some more uh, 
wood cutting right before we leave. And I really do like giving you guys a variety of content throughout the week. So stay tuned for more games coming to the channel here this year. And uh, the upcoming year is going to be a lot of fun. So let's lower this on down and switch back in the Ponzi Scorpion. We do have to cut some stumps up with the uh, stump grinder. So we might do that. Oh, oh, just turn the engine off. I forgot that we left this on. Not too good to leave these engines on. That way we don't uh, burn the diesel and the gas. That's some of these machines are. We'll uh, move on over here. Let's see how much we could cut down. And if we put them all in one big pyre pile, that will be awesome. Because that means that we could do it all at once. And that will be very helpful. And these 8 meters is also helpful in making it so it's easy loading. And I really do like uh, being efficient, like I always say. So uh, let's get this one back here. And I think if we can, we'll put them all in the same pile. That will be awesome. And once we cut these two, I think we'll hop in the uh, wood chipper. No, the stump grinder, I mean. I always get those confused sometimes when I'm really concentrated here in the game. But hopefully we could get all these at once. That would be awesome. Looks like a pretty nice pile we just made. Perfect. And like I was saying, I will be live streaming this game, which will definitely be a lot of fun on Friday night at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll start up the loader, and I think it's actually just better for us to leave them on. Leaving them on will actually help us out. And we do have some awesome uh, dual wheels on the front of this front loader. Oh, guys, we are going to get them all. That is awesome. Pick it all up at once. Oh, yeah, this is perfect. I think it's safe to say that we really do push some of our equipment to its limits by picking up all these at once. So this trailer is pretty much full so we will be emptying this just here in a few minutes but I would like to do some stump grinding just before we do it but look at that trailer that's awesome that we got all of those in there that's perfect so I think we'll hop in the JCB and we'll do a few in this does have the cage like I always say but it's always great to use the outside view oh boy just use the wrong control. Hopping machine to machine, you do have to get used to the controls, but I do a pretty good job at it, which is awesome. Looks like this really was uh, shaking the uh, JCB skid steer here. Oh boy. Doing an awesome job though with this logging series, and just overall logging in general. I really do enjoy this, especially this new feature that came to the game back in uh, FS15. We will raise this up here and continue. And like I was saying, I hope you guys are having a great day and have a great week this week since it's the last week of 2016. And I'm very excited about 2017, guys. That's going to be a lot of fun here for the channel. And I can't wait for all the fun videos. We'll continue here. And I think we'll probably do one or two more. And then we will switch and uh, hop in the cat semi truck. That can cat semi truck I think is a very powerful truck but it might be time for us to get a different truck so if you do have any cool ideas for any pieces of equipment we could use including trying to replace the Ponzi Scorpion possibly for like a modded one that would be a lot of fun so if you do have any cool ideas like I was saying drop your ideas in the comments below and while you are down there give me a big like on this to let me know that you really do enjoy this because these are a lot of fun to make so I think once we are done with this, we will actually hop in the other one and make our way on over to the sawmill. And I do have some cool videos planned with that sawmill, so stay tuned for those later this week. Awesome, so we got all these done. We'll uh, park up over here, and we do need to strap down the load. We'll strap it down before we head on out. We want to make sure that our load is secure and uh, won't go flying as we go down the road. Going to find all of these. Perfect. There's a lot of them, which is very helpful. We'll start up the cat semi here. Oh, wow, you guys can see it. There is a bit of weight on this, but I think we will overall do a pretty good job. We'll turn our beacon lights on and make our way on over to the sawmill. Now, we probably could have fit a little bit more wood in the back section of this trailer, 
But like I was saying, I think we did overfill this actually since they do stick out past the uh, end of the trailer, which isn't always the safest thing. But the traffic is clear and we will turn and make our way on over to the sawmill. And I believe it's actually this upcoming road that we turn at. Yes, it is, which is awesome. I do know my way around this Gold Crest Rally map and Pine Creek Hills is an edit of that, which is awesome. So we are almost probably going to be there, but once we sell it, we will definitely call it a day since it was a busy day for us. This was awesome though. We did a lot of work and that's going to be very helpful in us getting a lot of money today in this uh, logging company. Almost like this truck wa doesn't want to turn, but that could also be because there's a lot of weight on this. But it w yeah, we are doing an excellent job. Hopefully, nobody hits us at this intersection. Looks like the only car would be that, but they are turning. We'll hop on the inside. Very awesome truck. And I really do enjoy using this for this series here. Awesome. Look at that. Pretty cool. And if you guys do have Xbox One, you guys can add me on that. And I will definitely play with you guys if you do have any games like Forza Horizon or anything like that because I really like to interact with you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram at square2448 we're to make our way up this hill definitely has the power cat trucks are definitely very powerful we'll turn on over here look at that uh whoa was not paying attention there logging gone wrong not too bad of an accent and just scraped again it's always easier to drive with a camera view behind instead of it being uh, in the front looking at the hood which is always a good tip but yes we made it here to the sawmill and I always just back into the uh, pond over here I think that that's always the easiest are we going to make the turn we are not we'll make the turn here awesome guys we made the turn we'll back on in and we will sell all this and get a lot of money let's back up Hopefully we push that one in. Yep, we push that in. And these are actually just selling on their own. But we do need to get out, take all these straps off so that these now fall. And once they fall, I think it will be a lot easier. Oh boy, it's not letting me get some of these straps. I'm going to have to just pull out and try to get them again. Awesome. And I really do enjoy using this trailer. I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, some of these don't want me to uh, get them. Hmm. I always do have some trouble with the straps trying to get them off, but oh yeah, it's a lot easier to do it from this side. Come on, get these straps off. Actually, I believe that you could do it. There we go. You could do it with L in the truck. That's a lot easier. Perfect. So we sold all of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlogging video. Stay tuned for many more. And thanks for watching. Like always, subscribe for more.